Hello everyone, I'm gonna show you how to connect your Power Automate into an RSS feed that will automatically post into a Microsoft Teams channel of your choice. So you can use this for blogs, you can use this for tweets, social media, uh, YouTube channels. I'm gonna show you how I automated moving new blogs from our official Microsoft Teams tech community blog into a channel for a customer community that I manage. So first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is pop into Microsoft Teams and you can either go down to the apps here or if you wanna click on the new ellipses functionality or the sneak peek, type in Power Automate, ignore the tip. That's uh, just the functionality I have because I'm on our early builds and I can test these features. So click on Power Automate, the personal app is gonna pop up and you can see you notice that I'm in the home tab so I can see previous Power Automates that I've created. We're gonna go ahead and click on create. Now there's a ton of great templates on here that you can leverage because I know that we're gonna connect in an RSS feed. Just type in RSS, only one option comes up, so quick and easy. You can update the flow name right here. So I'm gonna say demo RSS, and this is gonna authenticate me. And then what we're gonna hit is edit in advanced mode because I wanna change up the template a little bit. This is really easy to do, but you're gonna see why here in a moment. Now. As this is loading up, the way the template is set up is that it will, sorry, it's gonna authenticate me first. So once I hit continue now, the way the template's set up is it's gonna post an adaptive card from Flowbot to your channel. Now that's pretty cool, but unless you know how to code, ignore the adaptive card for a bit. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add an action and I want to alert the team. So let's do this. These are changing all the time. And so the easiest one to do now is we're gonna post a message as the Flowbot to a channel. Okay, so there's a bunch of different options that you can have. If you wanna send this directly to yourself as a user, you can do that. There's a ton of great options. I'm gonna delete this one so we get rid of it. So that action is gone. And now first things first, we need to get the RSS feed from the URL. So for the Microsoft Teams blog, this is the RSS feed. Now, if you don't know how to get an RSS feed, check the description of this video. I posted a link to the blog that showed me how to do this because I just learned for myself. It's fairly easy, but for, for someone who hasn't done it before, you're gonna wanna walk through the quick steps. Now you're gonna wanna choose the property here that'll be used to determine when this is posted. And so we're gonna say publish date. So every new publish date uh, for anything that's on this RSS feed will come into the channel of your choice. And now I can pick the channel, or excuse me, the team. I can pick the channel that I wanna post this to. I can type in a custom message. And what I do in the custom message as you're typing, make sure that you get the feed title. So this in our case will give you the title of the blog as well as the feed summary. So I'll write a little bit of a message that actually shows some details of here's the name of the blog, here's the summary of the blog, and then it'll post the content below. And then if you wanna do a subject, add that in and hit save. That is it. All you need to do, I would recommend that you test this out in a channel that you create. Um, so I, I use a channel all the time to test these things out, but really simple and easy to create this and you are good to go. So make sure you get the right RSS feed and test this out. Have fun.